Hello, 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 everybody! My name's Jurassic Attic Final Mix, and welcome to the weekly Jurassic News! This week on Jurassic News, we have live updates on the new San Diego Comic Con booth for the Hammond Collection, and a few more Christmas items, and some new things that have surfaced from the cancelled Hasbro toys. So without further ado, let's get this started. Starting with the new Hallmark Allosaurus ornament. And it looks fine. Honestly, although I really shouldn't criticize it because well, it's just a $10 ornament, so I'm not expecting a freaking Chronicle collectible statue. But I do wish they had maybe worked from the Allosaurus a bit because to me, it just looks more of a, it gives me more vibes of the Indominus rather than an Allosaurus. So I wish they probably gave it the Battle of the Big Rock colors with the blue and creamy brown. Or just make it look more like the one in Dominion. Instead of just this grayish blue with bright blue spikes. Um, really not a big fan of the coloring, but the sculpt looks fine. Other than that... Um, it's exclusively at Walmart, and at the moment, I do not know the price, but I am guessing it's either 7 to $10 plus tax. So, hey, if you're at Walmart, why not pick it up? Looks kind of neat. It's a neat little collectible. Uh, personally, if I didn't have the channel, I wouldn't pick it up, but, well, I'm guessing you guys would like to take a little closer look at it, wouldn't you? Moving right along... We have something that I discovered this morning, which is a Jurassic Park waffle maker. I wish I was making this up, ladies and gents, but I am not. There is a Jurassic Park waffle maker, and I absolutely love it. Look, um, there was a Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom waffle maker uh, back in 2018, but I didn't have a job at the time, and, well, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I, I didn't have a job, and also I just didn't know where to get one. So, unfortunately, I couldn't get it. But now we have a Jurassic Park one, which is the exact same thing, but instead of, par instead of world, it's park. So, hey, there's your second chance to get it, and here's my second chance to get it. And I cannot wait to get it because I, am pl I plan to make a little stupid video for it. Next up. You heard of those inflatable T-Rexes? Well, prepare for the inflatable Giganotosaurus costume for this Halloween. And oh dear lord, they butchered the Giganotosaurus. <laughs> it looks like the freaking T-Rex uh, from the last dinosaur. He's like a quadruped Caprosuchus or Sarcosuchus. Oh my gosh, it, it looks so so bad that it's good i absolutely love it and honestly i'm i just might get it because of how stupid it looks so um yeah there's that so can't wait to see people dressed up as that during halloween next up is something that i already uploaded as a youtube short because well i couldn't upload that day and it is alternate designs for the giganotosaurus and some closer looks at the head of the Atrociraptor and featherless versions of the Therizinosaurus and Pyroraptor. Now, an interesting thing is the person that uploaded the Atrociraptor has uh, confirmed once again that the Atrociraptor was going to be Deinonychus. So, you know, Deinonychus once again getting the shaft in the movies and book. But yeah. Um, uh, I'm glad they changed the design of the Giganotosaurus. I'm really not a big fan of the original design because, first of all, it looks way, it looks way too Indominus. And second of all, the teeth. Oh my god, the teeth are terrible. It is missing so many teeth. Like, give the poor guy some dentures. Make him go see a dentist because my man looking like an old man. <laughs> So yeah, uh, maybe that's why the Mattel Giganotosaurus looks so different compared to the movie one. So hey, there's a little little thing right there. Move on. Camp Cretaceous season five comes out tonight um, at 2 a.m. in Mountain Time, 
or for the rest of the people in tomorrow morning. Um, honestly, my expectations for this series has gone extinct after everything I've read. And after rewatching season four three times, yeah, it, it's no bueno. It's no bueno. No, 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 no bueno. <laughs> So, really, my expectations for Season 5 of Camp Cretaceous are super, super low. Um, I honestly expect a review of it tomorrow. So, I, either it can be a surprise, a disappointment, or so bad that it's good. Next up is a little quickie, and that is that the new update for Jurassic World Alive is finally out. So, if you want to hunt down some atrocity raptors or beta, go for it because they are finally out. Although, I do believe they, those are event dinosaurs. So, you can't just get them out in the wild. You have to participate in some events, which I do believe it should be able to come out within a few days or weeks. Now, the, now we're moving on to the part where I, why I'm uploading a bit late is because we're getting live updates of San Diego Comic-Con. And what's in San Diego Comic-Con? Hammond Collection! And we finally have a reveal of the Hammond Collection Dilophosaurus. You know, you folks no longer need to pay 400 freaking dollars for the Amber Collection, because Hammond Collection right here got your back. It, the Dilophosaurus looks absolutely gorgeous. The frill, um, the way you remove it is exactly the same as the one from the Kenner toy line and all in all it is such a great looking figure although it is unfortunate it doesn't come with a little cool little sign stand but honestly that is a sacrifice I am willing to make next up we have Ellie Sattler and I am absolutely laughing at Ellie Sattler her only accessory is a freaking leaf, but that's not all. She has shit hands. She literally has hands dedicated to literally going deep into Triceratops doo-doo. So, <laughs> I, I don't know why. I'm sure, call my comedy immature and childish, but I absolutely love it. It is, out of all the accessories that I would have never expected, this is one of them. So, there we have Ellie Settler. It lo she looks absolutely great. Such a better version of the Legacy one and the Amber Collection one. Um, much better face sculpt. Although I think the face sculpt is exactly the same as the Legacy Collection one. I think Mattel took the criticism of the Alan Grant one because that Alan Grant one, not a big fan of the face sculpt. But yeah, she looks absolutely great. Now, on to the last subject. Remember when Hasbro had the license to Jurassic World and how bad it was? Because I do. But some new things have resurfaced which really caught my attention. Now, just so I don't, I really do not want to get these people in trouble. But if you guys are fine with me giving you credit. I will make sure to re-edit this video or put in the description to credit you. But so I don't get you guys in trouble, I will just keep you anonymous. But during a little Discord chit chat, which I unfortunately missed, um, they have revealed new canceled products of the Jurassic of the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World toy line. And some of it is, is that the Jurassic Park um, 2012 toy line that was exclusive at Toys R Us is, well, honestly, it's really not that shocking, but it was originally just a G.I. Joe toy line that happened to have dinosaurs. So um, we have this little concept art of the idea of it. So we right there, we have the Hasbro logo, the Allosaurus, a, a generic soldier, and the G.I. Joe logo right on the top right corner. Next up, we have the package art for the Stegosaurus and the Carno freaking Taurus. Now, I don't know if these have been revealed already. I know the back, the, the art behind it has been revealed, but like the, the 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 art on the side, the whole box and everything, I do not think that it has ever been revealed. So this looks absolutely cool. 
it sucks that the Stegosaurus and Carnotaurus never, ever, 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 ever saw the light of day. So that is really, really unfortunate. Um, and uh, maybe, hopefully, Mattel can make a little nod to this uh, weird toy line because the colors of that Carnotaurus, mwah, the, the, the red, the creamy underbelly, the black, ooh, is nice. Now, another thing. Remember those random armored military raptors that appeared in some like backpacks in Toys R Us? Well, apparently there, that was gonna be like a little spin-off toy line after the hybrid toy line from what I'm reading. Um, again, I did not read the full discussion. I had a friend of mine who's also in the Discord have it summarized uh, for me. Thank you, Frank. But here's basically the TLDR. What I'm showing you is, is from what I'm getting, is a canceled toy line of the military um, raptors. Now, this is stupid. This does not belong in a Jurassic World movie, but as a toy, these looked absolutely awesome. <laughs> Obviously, since this is Hasbro, they probably would have butchered it and had screw holes all over the sides. So, yeah, um, I'm guessing these were being drawn up as soon as uh, Mattel bought the license for it. So, obviously, that's why they were canceled. But, you know, maybe since the movies are done for now so, and we're about to see the end of Camp Cretaceous, I hope we get silly stuff like this in the future of Toy Line. Because I just want that, I want, um these companies to go nuts just for the toys just for the toys i want them to go nuts so give us like an armored stegosaurus just go all dino riders on us <laughs> just for one toy line obviously not for the entire thing but it would be cool to see and that does it for this week's jurassic news hello it's me jurassic addict who's editing uh before before we go to the, to where where you go like and subscribe, um, forgot to mention Jurassic Outpost made a new Beyond the Gates video where they quote unquote reveal the new Dreadnoughtus figure. Um, but obviously, since we all seen the Dreadnoughtus figures, I'm getting kind of interested. But what's interesting here is that we have a new render of the Dreadnoughtus and um, some cool little behind the scenes look um, on the design process of the dreadnought is honestly this looks like a pretty cool figure i'm excited to get it and um i am we now learned that there basically is no clear dreadnought is render for some reason so they literally had so chris Pugh has confirmed that they literally had to get someone to make them one so i don't know why but i just find it funny but yeah um there it is <laughs> anyway now go on with the like and subscribe part the subscribe button and smash the like button please 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 so i can make this my job i've been jurassic addict and i'll see you guys tomorrow for my thoughts on camp cretaceous